Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and thank you so much for stopping by today's video. We're going to be talking about consumer level SSD and NVMe drives for Chia farming primarily. Uh, not too many people are aware of a few things and I have seen some people just blowing through the overall life cycle of these drives. These consumer level drives that we have in front of us are really good, great for gaming, at home work, maybe, you know, some AutoCAD, just some basic work task, gaming task. But Chia farming definitely puts a lot of strain on these drives, not only overall, like thermally, some of these drives will get nice and toasty, but also because of the total writes that it's having to do, trying to fill up the mass amount of storage that you have. Now, Bram defined the small farmer as less than 200 terabytes. Well, if that's a small farmer, I'm a plankton because I do not have anywhere near, I don't even have 100 terabytes at this time and I don't plan on expanding it that far, but I still want to participate in Chia as a whole. So these drives would, do me just fine. Now these drives are split up a bunch, uh, a bunch of different systems, but I do utilize them. However, you got to be smart. You got to maintain, first off, you should be looking online because each one of these have an online worksheet um, or data sheet in which you can look and identify what is the overall endurance or life cycle of these drives. Also, you should be monitoring it with hardware or hard drive tools such as HW Info or uh, Hard Disk Sentinels, another one. There's a bunch of them out there. But you can see that this ADATA drive has 86% life on its remaining, you know, overall rights. And here is the drive that is in there right now. So this is the XPG SX8200 Pro. Uh, we got the P2 from Crucial. We got the Oris Gen 4 NVMe SSD. 960 EVO and 850 EVO, and then the SN850 from Western Digital. You want to maintain and keep an eye on everything as you continue to write these plots or build these plots onto your farm. Um, and then, of course, if you are running these drives to the ragged edge and they do hit the max amount allotted for total terabytes written, then you want to recycle them. All right, obviously you want to erase your data if possible, but you need to recycle them. Don't just throw them in the trash. You need to recycle your electronics, cell phones, any electronics is super important right now as this world continues to grow. I'm a big person on recycling, not trying to get all Greenpeace on you, but please do recycle your components. Now here we have the Micron 7300 Pro. This isn't a regular SSD, but it comes in the same size. However, you notice that the connector is different. That is a U.2, it is a PCIe uh, Gen 3 by 4 drive, and we have to adapt it in some form or fashion because I do not have the U.2, the U.2 connection has actually been phased out already. Uh, I, I do see it in some server builds, but not so much in the commercial market, so to speak, or the, the, the end consumer, and we needed an adapter, and this adapter was pretty cheap, so I grabbed that offline, and we can easily insert this into this adapter, mount in and all, and then this is gonna give me uh, a little bit more endurance than just killing the Corsair MP600, which even if I did continue to plot on that drive alone, I still will be able to fill my overall capacity without you know, having to sacrifice it. I just don't wanna bring its overall life cycle below 50%. I really would like to maintain that drive for a while. It's pretty good, good speeds. All of these are. This one's really good and fast, but it's not always about speed. Another thing that you're gonna bump into is you may be plotting, and during these different phases, if the cache of the SSD or NVMe drive fills up, you're gonna take something that's really fast, and it's gonna start writing at very slow speeds, sometimes even slower than a normal SSD. I would tell you right now, of everything I tried so far, the WD Black is okay, but the cache does get filled and then it slows down. The XPG is okay. The P2, not so much. That thing really slows down and just starts just killing the progress. The Oris is in my Sun system, so I haven't had a chance to test that one-on-one. -on -one. 
the 960 Evo did really good, and the 850 Evo, even on its regular SSD speeds, has done really well. What I heard is, is the 980 Pro from Samsung, NVMe drive, if you get a good capacity and a good price on that, is actually a pretty good drive uh, for building these plots on. And then of course, you know, you build these on temporary storage like an NVMe or SSD, and then you migrate it over to a platter hard drive or, or bigger hard drive, 14 terabyte, 10 terabyte, 12 terabyte, whatever you got. But this drive right here is gonna help me save my, my other drives uh, because I can write a lot more with this and it's actually got pretty decent speeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed on a computer and save my other drives from really writing too much. All of these I'm gonna try to keep above 50%. I'm not utilizing it anymore. I might move the P2 over to my Sun system. I might utilize it on my laptop. I would just keep it so that way I know that I have years out of these NVMe drives and not just plotting one after the other, killing these drives. So it's very important that you guys are keeping an eye on the life expectancy. First off, knowing the life expectancy, excuse me, the overall terabytes that it can write, but also monitoring it. As you build plots, make sure you're keeping an eye on things. Keep an eye on temps. It's really hard to keep some of these drives that are really fast under a good temperature unless you've got a good heat sink or airflow. But just make sure that you're keeping an eye on its life and not just running it ragged. That's pretty much it for this video. Next one, we're going to be installing this into the system and talking about parallel plotting and then going from there. So you guys have yourself a good day. Please be careful. Uh, go check out the Chia Reddit and various comments that may be in this video or my past videos, because there's a lot of OGs and people in the Chia space that know what they're talking about. They're sharing their data and information with us so that way we can improve. You guys have a great one. Do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.